Welcome to the Basic Detail channel. Today I'm gonna fix my issue with the vents of the car. My issue is I get air on every vent. No matter what position I make at the floor, at the defrost, I have I have air everywhere, but I cannot choose the direction of the air. So I make a lot of research. I make a video on the blower fan first because at the beginning I was thinking that something wrong with the fan and explain why I got low pressure on every vent. But I realized that it's not a fan problem, but climate control uh, issue. So this is the mess, but I find the problem. First, I look under the battery and I saw an, an acid leak. Right there is the symptom of an acid leak on the frame. Uh, and there is the, um, the computer for the car. And this is the part. It makes move a trap into the vents to direct air on uh, the floor, the defrost, or the the vents on, on your face. Sorry, my English is <laughs> is bad, but I try to do my best. Uh, so, first, I saw the acid leak. I tell to myself, ah, okay, probably it's a acid leak problem. It leaks on the uh, vacuum pipe. It feeds the air on this reservoir, and I remove the fender. It takes me about 30 minutes. It's pretty easy. You have a couple of screw right there and you have a screw right there. You have to uh, take a long extension to remove it. When you um, remove this um, fender, plastic fender, so you have to remove this bolt. You have a couple of bolts uh, under the car. And after this, the trickiest part to remove the fender, if you if you have to remove it, in my case, it wasn't really necessary, but uh, I begin with that. You have to remove the cap of the pop-up light and you will be able to have access right there. And there, there's a two uh, Torx screws. And finally, to remove the front of the fender, you have to uh, remove a screw, uh, a nut like this. He attached the bumper with the fender right there and another right there. So you have two nuts like this to remove, two torque screw right there. This is for the front. And it's pretty easy job, but you have to uh, to remove the light to, uh, to get it easier. So back at the problem. I, I inspect all the O's to see if they are cracked or maybe worn out, but everything looks great. I, fin I follow the line, it goes at the rear of the intake manifold and it's pretty tight on the, uh, uh, it's pretty tight at the rear of the manifold. So I follow the line and the line was into this wire bunch. I cut the wire bunch because I presume that the acid fall on the the wire harness and break the the vacuum line. So in my case the line was good as you see. So I followed the line again and I pulled completely the line out of the harness and I follow it and I see right at the rear of the, the, intake, the intake. I, I'm sorry, you're not gonna be able to see it, but you got a kind of 90 degrees like this uh, plug at the back of the intake manifold, right there, right there. And I feel that the pipe 
was not plugged into this kind of connector. So I take the line and I replug it into this kind of connector at the back of the intake manifold and voila, uh, everything uh, works again. I can uh, send air where I want. It's um, it's a it's a big job for just a, a unplugged pipe, but I really not suspect that the pipe was uh, unplugged at the back of the intake. Uh, you would you will tell me that you're not. You will not have to remove all the fender and everything to get access at the back of the intake but in my case it gave me the chance to be really closer at the intake and not scratch the fender I finally uh, be able to replug the uh, vacuum line into the intake manifold if you have a leak on this reservoir you will maybe if the line is collected at the back of the intake you will hear a kind of sucking noise because those kind of line sucks air i hope it will help you if you got some issues with that i'm gonna rewrap this line attach the wire at the back of the intake as usual take your time don't rush anything easiest part is to remove the top of the fender the inside and the, the tricky part is to remove this one but with the long extension you will be all right and it's this part is the most hard but just take your time do not rush it and it will be uh, all right if you have to remove the fender so thanks for watching